Hey guys, Mike here with the, another amazing toy on my channel. Um, we're gonna unbox today's Dev Bounce the budget speaker. Uh, reason why I get this speaker, I was a uh, I was uh, testing a lot, you know, the, the little che cheaper speaker like a Fatal Pros, like Timpanos, or you know, the good, good sounding speakers uh, for the hundred dollars per pair, right? And uh, this guy came up to, to cross because the Arnold and Sylvester's is like. The Arnold is $180 and Sylvester is $130. So this is over $100, like by 30%. So reason why I get this speaker, we're gonna compare this speaker with the American Bass, uh, the Fatal Pro, and we're gonna find out how this guy gonna stand up with the price match, right? Uh, by the way, if you buy, if you guys buying, you know, nice stuff from the Dave Bounce, definitely gonna get some nice t-shirt like this and i like it uh, how the sits forms and you know the, the materials also i will wear outside so uh the i didn't open this speaker yet so the first is a 4 ohm 150 watt rms power right and the spl level is a 93 so it's a lot of lower than the most most speakers i'm testing in my channel for the same price so you can get for the same price a lot higher spl level right but the point in my channel always I'm giving the proof when you're reading the specs that some speakers outperform the specs some speakers not even close to the specs right so I'm sure I'm testing from this company so many speakers 93 decibel this speaker will outperform 97 decibel some speakers right but I didn't test yet but I'm I believe for that 80 speaker mid-range speaker some guys as was always you know on my channel they crying why are you comparing with the mid-range with the mid-bass speaker if it's a mid-range speaker advertise it says a mid-range speaker but plays from 100 hertz to 5000 hertz so for, for me it doesn't matter it says a mid-range or subwoofer it will play in that range right so let's open let's see what inside shitty $90 per pair all right that's good always you have a nice sticker so now you we have a warranty warranty paper warranty paper it has here you see uh, the barcode barcode on the yeah the barcode on the box right here it says 2390 2390 so this is a legitimate warranty paper not a piece of if you guys check the their warranty how's the work I never check it definitely comment below let us know what you think about the warranty I think they're gonna stand behind this, their product, but I never check it, so I cannot say anything. Uh, owner's manual. Always Dev Bounce provide the best manual. I never see the manual the better than these guys. So I'm gonna tell you why. When you open the manual, right? You have the mounting there. You have how to run one ohm, four ohm, three speakers, four speakers, eight speakers, one channel, two channel, all the options you have it here. So when you're receiving, you, when you're stepping on the next game, of course, guys, if you're professional, you're doing all the stuff in your life, not everybody does that, right? Some people like myself, they will come to the like, brand new, like first time they install, right? I, I run a lot of music system, I run it, but I can say it's, I start that way. When I receive it, I, I didn't know how to install it. I go to Google, I go to there. When I was young, it's a lot of young kids, like they start in this game too, so. Yeah, and even you have, <laughs> I, I never saw this, you, you gotta Google up to find this, uh, the gauge, length of the wire and the what gauge you have to use it, right? For example, if you're running 10,000 watts and your length is gonna be 7 to 8 meters, you have to run the cable around like 5 gauge or so, all, all the gauges is here, so if you have a bullshit wires and trying to you know stick it it's not gonna work it's not gonna work so you're gonna find out here that's a big thumbs up guys uh, providing you know such as a lot of in information reason why i stop for this thing yeah i buy 150 dollars 100 dollars per each speakers and and never receive any kind of papers maybe those speakers for the you know the gurus for close eyes they, they know everything but here's the deal guys I will connect the speaker for the amplifier right now. So before I'm gonna just see the speaker itself. So the paper materials, the build qualities around cone area, 
it's everything is nice and you have a foam here and you have a foam on the back and the basket is also decoded like all the expensive versions of well, all the speakers from death mounts so you're not losing on this part nothing for the expensive ones so on the magnet is a different magnet just i think it's a regular magnet than other guys and the terminals also dual terminals when, when you're running the parallel or you know multiple speakers is the best to have like extension of the terminals you're not gonna uh, you're not gonna cross the wires like each other you just stick to your connections and you can just you know change the speakers right this is a 150 watt RMS of course the uh, Sylvester was a 175 and, and the Arnold was a, uh, a 300 but this is the 150 so uh, this will oh this is a lot Ryan, Ryan has a 220 watt RMS <laughs> and this guy is a 150 watt RMS so 100 watt RMS less than Ryan and we're gonna run these speakers together so we'll, we'll see so now the, the, before I connect to the amplifier guys um, the dev bounce if you guys watching this my tiny you know microscopic channel I know you guys really advanced to building you know the nice quality providing stuff but I see the market is going now as a bullet type speakers. Everybody's like designing now as a bullet type speakers. So I think it's a time to implement the bullet type speakers for you guys because almost everybody's gonna go to, you know, the bullet type version. Maybe you guys building already and I didn't see on your website. So that, that's um, my, my thoughts about these speakers. The price wise is similar. I have an American base also, but I'm gonna run these with each other. So this guy is gonna go to giveaway. I think this guy is gonna go to giveaway also. But I have to run a lot of, you know, experiment with these guys. So let's play it. So I'm gonna start from Ryan, like always. Ooh. Oh, this guy gets loud. A lot of bass. That's what I'm talking about, guys. Uh, decibel on this 93, it's uh, maybe this guy is accurate, but maybe this guy is not accurate. So this guy gets placed the same uh, power output. This guy gets placed a lot, lo little louder than this, not a lot louder, a little lou louder than this guy. So as, as you can see, this this guy is placed 85 to 12,000 hertz, right? And you can see right away it gives a like, nice smooth bass. This is really good speaker for the price. If you guys in the market to get uh, one of these speakers, don't even think. Just get it for the price, whatever they're offering now. Um, around like $35, $30 per, per speaker, right? And 85 to, uh, 85 to 12,000, right? It says that. This guy only 10,000, like 2,000 less, but it plays a lot higher than this guy. And the, uh, yeah, I was, <laughs> I wasn't make sure this is like four ohm speaker, right? The both is four ohm. That's why when you read the specs, like specs made for us to find out like a certain amount, like certain, you know, have the idea how the speaker will play. But when you put the side by side, it's gonna be total different, guys. That that's why I'm telling you, is like when you guys comment, you cannot compare with the mid bass with this. You cannot compare. I can compare with the Twitter, with, Twitter with the subwoofer, right? So it's my channel i do whatever i want to do so the guys definitely check these guys out i put the, all the links on description and look at the difference 220 watt rms speaker and 150 watt rms speaker look at the magnet size right guys if you didn't subscribe to my channel definitely subscribe it this is my unboxing and just talking about the speakers and i'm gonna run these speakers in the cage with the legit way Right, I'm out.